Garrett, how are you? We're gonna look back on Paris 2018 when you won the title there. Okay. One quick clap in front of your face and we'll get started. You had a good summer going into Paris. Just talk us through your momentum going into the tournament. I just turned 22, it was 2018, the clay season. I had the fourth round in the Roland Garros. Uh, I lost to Sasha Zverev in five sets. It was a really close match. I started to feel that I'm already playing better. I'm on, I, I, I belong to this level and uh, I just need to keep working on the things that, that my team is thinking that I needed. I started to kind of rise up with my rankings, I think. I also played fourth round Wimbledon. I lost to Novak, you know, so I had these kind of matches. I, I was kind of feeling that I'm close but I need to kind of step up. For Rono, I made a semis. That's my first semis in the Masters 1000. And then I think from that moment, I started to kind of really go up and up. And, you know, I finished really on a high note in Paris. the beginning of that tournament, your first match, you drew the defending finalist of the tournament. What is going through your mind whenever that's the first person you're playing? It was a really nervous match because I knew that the year before he played uh, really great, you know, he made a final. So it's uh, mixed feelings, you know, from one side you feel confident in this tournament, on the other side you have to defend points. You have pressure, obviously, because I think he was up in break, he lost his head, and uh, after that the match changed. I basically took over the control and I won the match. Third round contest here, a place in the quarterfinals up for grabs. The first seed you played in that tournament was Isner. That was a pretty intense match overall. Talk us through what you remember from it. Don't go anywhere. Big as John Isner has just won a tiebreaker and saves match point. It was an extremely difficult match, and I mentioned it, that uh, after I went through this match, it kind of uh, pushed me to the final, I would say. I saved the match points, he was saving match points, and it was really nervous, intense match. Three breakers. It's the, so well played. That was a rocket. Very nice from the Russian once more. A lot of emotions were going through, and after I passed this match, I think I kind of really stepped up. I, I felt confident, and I felt that I can really go deep and even maybe win the tournament. Match point. What an effort from Karen Hatchinov. He's got it all going on right now. Had to save a match point before coming back to prevail. What a way to finish. After also a match with John where his serve comes different, I felt like Sasha, who is a great server as well, I was returning unbelievably well. So I was used to it, you know, it was like a practice <laughs> the match before, and then I felt really confident on the return. That is a big performance from Karin Hatchinov, a second Masters semi-final of the year. With Dominic was the same, the same thing. So confidence makes a difference. So it's not only about hitting the ball well, because you know once you go to the quarterfinals, semifinals, obviously your opponents and you, you play good tennis. It's already about, uh, I think, confidence and a lot of uh, mental preparation in this part. Karen Hatchinov is through to the biggest final of his career, and it's another astonishing performance from the Russian. He proves he's a force to be reckoned with in Paris. I just proved uh, winning match by match that I could beat the uh, top 10 players and that gave me extra confidence before the next match. The final, Novak, he's on a 22 match win streak. Going into that match, what is your game plan? At one point you go against number one, you think, okay, somebody could stop him, of course. From the other side, he's playing unbelievable confidence uh, on, on really high level, but I think somebody can stop him. So I was thinking, okay, from one side, a lot of things on the table, but on the other side, nothing to lose. Karen Hatchinov, today, the biggest day in his professional career. Got 
Kachanov stretched down, and it does finally tell. First blood to the serve here. My coach told me, man, you already finished with this ranking. You played a good season. It's a try to enjoy, try to do, of course, to prepare, do whatever possible, but you know, believe that you can win. What is going on here? Well, finding it tough right now. Djokovic to get the ball past him. That is a worldie. He's reached set point. <laughs> a magnificent set of tennis from Karen Hachinov, the 22 year old. He's on course for a maiden <laughs> Masters 1000 title. He's a set away, 7 5. I turn around the match, but still until having a match point against Novak, you cannot relax, you cannot give it a thought that you know what will happen if you win. You know, a lot of thoughts coming very quickly and distraction, you try to take it out. Championship point. I didn't give uh, any thought that of winning the tournament, what it does it mean to me, uh, so big tournament, you know, I was just wanted to focus, to win, all the emotions came because at the end, all the hard work paid off and, you know, where I was having my motivation, where I wanted to be, where, I mean, everything came together. It's a maiden Masters 1000 title for Karen Hachinov. He wins the Rolex Paris Masters, beating a fourth top ten player in a row. He ends Novak Djokovic's 22 match winning streak. A sensational week. He's the first Russian to win at this level in nine years. Every player career is different, you know, you have ups and downs and, uh, you know, great memories. It's like, you know, all tournaments, it's a, it's a journey. So I think that's the way I, I take wins and loses and I try to be a better person, better player every day. And I think at the end, this is what it counts.